All right, and we're recording. Hey, gang, Andy here. Welcome to a brand new episode of Andy Talks Japandy. And today's episode, guys, we're going to be celebrating the big 1-0 of my arrival to Japan for the very first time on Memorial Day of 2013, 10 years ago. I arrived on Japan for the very first time. Now, when I initially planned out this video, I wanted to do kind of a little run through Yokosuka, where I was uh, stationed at, but obviously if you couldn't tell from my voice, I'm a little under the weather right now. And speaking of weather, uh, it's raining because rainy season, bitches. It just is what it is. Shogunai, my guys. So you just have to deal with Andy in the room once again, maybe. Now, we'll do a little bit of backstory on how I got there. So for those of you who don't know, I was in the US Navy from 2010 to 2015 when I got out. And in 2012, I got orders to my very first ship, USS Kurtz, FFG 38, 38 Special. And we did a six month deployment, a little twilight cruise in Central America, doing drug trafficking ops. And during that time, because the ship was set to decommission, I got orders to a new ship, the USS Lassen, DG-82, formerly stationed in Yokosuka. Now they're out in Mayport, Jacksonville, Florida. Once we finished decommissioning the Kurtz on February of 2013, I got sent out to Fleet ASW for sonar school for the system I was on Lassen because it's a little different than on Kurtz, so I got to get trained up. So for about two and a half months or so, I was there learning the new system. And after I was all done, got on a plane from San Diego to SeaTac, that's a Seattle Tacoma. And from there, got on a MAC flight, military flight, from SeaTac to Yokota Air Force Base. It's in Fusa, Tokyo, which is like super duper Western Tokyo. It's like, this actually counts as Tokyo, right? Once we landed and debarked the plane, we got a short little debrief on things, and we were then ushered to outside where there'd be buses waiting for us to take us to our respective bases. And from there, somebody would pick us up to go to our next commands. I remember that day very vividly because once we uh, got debriefed and I grabbed my bags, um, I saw a little Japanese lady filling up a vending machine. Now keep in mind, it's not like it's the airport where you can just go and exchange your money for yen. We had to like get our asses on the bus and there was no uh, change exchange there. So I was just kind of looking at her, filling up the machine. It's like, oh, soon, soon. <laughs> It was just kind of my, my first little taste of uh, Japan, was just seeing her fill up a vending machine. <laughs> and then from there, got on a bus and drove from Yokota down to Yokosuka. Now, Yokosuka is in southern Kanagawa, which is the prefecture just below Tokyo. And where Yokosuka is, it's on the Mira Peninsula, which is just east of where Shonan is, where I've gone to many a time in the summer on the beaches. So it's just east of that basically. So it's about an hour from Yokohama and about an hour and a half from Tokyo, or at least the parts of Tokyo that are interesting. After about two hours on a bus, bus ride, I had somebody from my ship come pick me up, went to McDonald's to uh, grab something to eat. He gave me a little quick brief on the ship and things like that, just kind of introducing himself. We drove to the ship in the duty van, got to meet the uh, division, do check-in, all that fun stuff, get my rack, which is uh, where I slept. And after that, my LPO, leading petty officer, dismissed me, told me to be here for quarters tomorrow, and that was about it. That's where my day started. After that, I uh, basically spent most of that time just fixing my rack, you know, putting away all my stuff that I brought with me, getting everything all sorted, and because I was just terribly jet lagged, I went, took a little nap for a couple hours. After Liberty went down, left, and uh, walked around Yokosuka for the very first time. And I remember the first place I went to was the ramen shop. That was right across from base. Now there's a couple ramen shops that are near base. There's one that is uh, colloquially known as Red Door Ramen. That one's pretty good, but mm, it's kind of like the Ichiran of Yokosuka, in my opinion. It's good, but there's better. So I went to the one across the street next to the Koko Ichibanya, where I went to the following day. <laughs> But for this day, went and had my first bowl of ramen. Ah, so good. It was uh, Yokohama Yeke style ramen. So it's kind of a mixture of 
shoyu and tonkotsu based ramen for those who want to know <laughs> very amazing and then i just kind of walked around the uh, local area outside of base in yokosuka that's called the hanch or e hancho it's the main uh, drinking area for a lot of the military folk and i just kind of walked around just getting used to my surroundings getting used to <laughs> japan and just you know being in shock that i'm actually here you know it took me many many years to be given the opportunity to come out to japan and your boy finally made it so i was just in shock and awe after i had my fill went to the arcade plaza capcom in the mall and after that went to starbucks to get on the internet and just kind of let people know hey i made it we out here baby and uh, then just went back to the ship to uh sleep off the jet lag so it took me about two or three days to kind of get sorted with the uh, the jet lag easy for me to say <laughs> but yeah that was my first day in japan in yokosuka japan to be specific kind of surreal to think that it has been 10 years that i first arrived in japan now obviously i haven't been in japan the entire time as you guys know i went back to america after i got out of the military to go to school and had some ups and downs as you guys know <laughs> after i got everything all sorted found a school out here in japan and that's how i made it back studying on the gi bill then became the first of my family to graduate last year with a bachelor's and have been on the hunt for a new job out here ever since. So it's been a crazy 10 year run for Oli and DC and Sam Modesta. And I don't think I'll be stopping anytime soon. I want to continue my stay out in this country because I think there's a lot more Japan for me to explore, a lot more for me to learn about this country. So definitely want to stay here and continue to learn. So, with that said, this is Andy. Sign up for now. As always, forever. We'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.